Hey everybody, welcome to the Red Bud Center. My name is Jack. Hi, I'm Sorrel. Hello, I'm Zane. We're here today to tell you a little bit about the Colorado River and why it's important to protect it. So let's start here at the Red Bud Center. This great center was built by the Lower Colorado River Authority. The Colorado River Alliance uses it to teach kids all about the river. Kids from many different schools come here to learn about the water, the Colorado River, and how to keep our river beautiful. Speaking of our river, there it is, the Texas Colorado River. It's our only source of drinking water. That's right, the city of Austin's drinking water is pumped from the Colorado River and into homes, schools, and businesses across town. You may have seen the Texas Colorado River yourself. Have you seen the, the river that runs through downtown Austin? That's part of the Colorado River, but we know it as Lady Bird Lake. Many Austinites spend quite a bit of time getting to know this section of the river. Maybe you've canoed here, or walked your dog fed the ducks, or wash the bats. There are lots of fun things to do on and near the water, and Lady Bird Lake is just one piece of the puzzle that makes up the Colorado River. Just look how big it is. Did you know that the Colorado is the longest river in Texas? Here, take a look. From West Texas all the way down to the coast at Matagorda, the Colorado River runs through a lot of Texas. Wow, the Colorado River really is fascinating. I bet Austin isn't the only city that depends on this resource. Farmers and industries also depend on the water from the river, both upstream and down. Let's not forget about all the plants and animals that call this river home. The Colorado, a force to be reckoned with. Although our river is beautiful, it can be unpredictable. Sometimes heavy rains cause flooding. Just look at the damage flooding has caused in the past. other times, drought, when we have very long periods with very little rainfall. Our mighty river can become just a trickle. Our lakes almost puddles. Texans needed the river to be more reliable. So, in the 1930s, LCRA began building dams. Our dams help to manage flooding when we have too much rainfall and provide water for people during a drought. How? Well, floodgates on our dams allow us to control the lake water levels. LCRA can open the floodgates when there is too much water, like during a flood, or they can keep them closed for storing water when there is very little rainfall. But that's not all. Did you know the dams also create electricity? Hydroelectricity is produced from the dam when water flows through it. The water that flows through the dams goes through turbines that move from the force of water. The turbines charge transformers, turning energy into electricity. By putting these dams in place along the river, LCRA created man-made lakes. The Highland Lakes and Lady Bird Lake. And most of the dams are still standing today. Man, the Colorado River sure does a lot for the city of Austin and other communities along it. I agree. That's why it's important to take care of our river, to protect the animals, our drinking water, and everything else the river provides. You can help too. Small, simple steps by you and your family, like turning off the water when it's not in use or picking up litter so it doesn't enter our river. During your visit to the Red Bud Center today, volunteers from the Colorado River Alliance will teach you all about our beautiful Colorado River. We hope you will join us in caring for the river and its future, and teach your family and friends what you've learned too. Have a fun field trip. I can make a difference, yeah.